Morning, everyone. Look at that hair. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do about that. Okay, hi, friends. Um, I don't know if this is going to be, like, a good spot to show you things that I wear, but I thought that it's sort of like I have this big mirror that I can move around, so maybe that plant would be better if that plant was gone. I wanted to just share with you what I'm wearing. I don't know if you can really see it very well, but just a white t-shirt from Uniqlo. Um, really basic. I've had it for years. I have them in like different colors. I'll link it downstairs. And these new um, wool, kind of wool blend, wide leg oversized trousers from Kaz. Uh, which I got recently, so I can also link that downstairs. Um, I'm wearing my, like, uh, uh, reading glasses. I don't really need them. They're mo mo mostly for, like, the computer screen, but sometimes it's, like, adds a nice accessory to the outfit, I think. And my watch from, um, Beretta Studios. Really sad celery. This is celery? Yeah. What's behind it? Uh, fennel, like and the onion? Fen onion and spicy pepper and garlic. Mm. I have a zucchini from a month ago. And red lentils or orange lentils? Yeah. I'm just sitting here watching CJ's uh, Vlogtober videos and I'm so nostalgic and jealous of all of these Halloween decorations. I have no front yard to put them in, but maybe Ohad and I will figure out something that we could do to jazz up the house for Halloween. How's it going? Um, looks delish, smells incredible. Thank you. I'm like really pushing my multitasking uh, skills. Good, good. Sweet potato in the oven. Ooh, really? And let's go see. Hi, baby. We have come to show you our final situation. Leftovers mix. Freaky. Lentils. And we're gonna just put that all in a bowl together, right? Yeah, with some yogurt. Learn with some yogurt. <gasps> Very warming, very warming and delicious. I love Freaky. If you're not on Freaky, get Freaky, you guys. Yeah, baby, you feel that movie moment. Hi, Vogue. Welcome to our bathroom. Whoa! La 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 la. <laughs> Ugh. Literally, all my favorite booktube friends are showing their pets in their videos all the time. Like CJ and Rebecca, and now Iggy with a cat. I know it's not our time, but look at this little. This is the closest thing we have. Hello. Okay, we've come to share our outfits. Let's back up a little bit. You first. Um, wearing this dress of yours. Which, and my physio wow, I have taking. no idea where this dress is from. Um, it has like a really nice look in back. <laughs> With your physio tape, you said? Yes. <laughs> Here. And this bag that is leather, but it's secondhand, so please don't come for me. <laughs> come for me. Um, Actually, I told them about this bag in from Italy. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like wearing it a lot. And these shoes. Shoes from Zara that I like wear a lot. I'm actually wearing pants underneath. underneath. Safety first. Yes. <laughs> Earrings. Uh, other stories. I wonder if I can. Oh, I can. 
other stories. I can link those earrings downstairs. Sorry, the camera did something funny. My outfit is this dress from Cos. Um, bought recently, so I'll link that downstairs also. Um, rubber Tevas, going for that like Mary Kate and Ashley, the row, big, shapeless dress with sandals vibes. Uh, fanny pack and these earrings that Mai gave me, my really good friend you've met before uh, as a gift. He's for the house. We are out to meet our friend from work for a little drink. I have a little lippy on. A little nippy on. A little nippy and a little lippy. My lipstick. Check your lipstick. We have something interesting to share with the people of the internet. No. In recent times have been like three or four bars that have opened up like kind of around us. So we're gonna go bar scouting. Good morning. If you want a real morning situation, it is this hair. This is the real deal, you guys. I'm out of the shower, um, and I'm gonna meet my um, a friend of mine who I talk about a lot on here. I feel like um, for a coffee. We're gonna make probably coffee here and like do a little cute coffee picnic date. Um, around two o'clock, but maybe Ohad and I are gonna find something to eat before that. I'm also going to change, <laughs> firstly, and also welcome to BookTube. We did a little bit of partying last night. <laughs> Got home around 3.30 or 4.00. So that was fun. Um, have a little bit of a headache, <laughs> but um, you know, that's what weekends are for. We're wearing clothes and I'm gonna get my book and just, uh, sorry, like I'm also like in a little bit of a rush. Um, so maybe I'll sit down a little bit later and really talk to you about it, but I'm still reading Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga Tukarchuk. Um, I mentioned this in my last vlog, so if you didn't watch that one, maybe you don't have context, but I'm, um, yeah, this is my current read, uh, buddy reading with Jessica of Jessica's Bookstack. I'm about halfway, and some, for some reason, it's not like a, I'm not like, I don't know, running through it or like rushing through it. Like, it's hard for me to sit down and read this for a long period of time. Maybe it's my state of mind or um, because I do like it but I am also kind of hoping it like goes somewhere soon even though I'm all for a plotless book however I don't think that this is plotless I think that it does have a plot so I'm kind of waiting for it to develop a little bit more but maybe I'll talk to you more about it later actually we do have another second before we have to go um, so I think where I am in this book, just to recap, it's about our main character, Janina, who is an elderly woman living in like a rural Polish village. Um, most of the book is so far happened in the winter time. Um, and she basically takes care of other people's homes, like other people that live in this village, but in the winter months, you know, can't stand to be in the forest in like the cold, cold winter, they they leave their houses and they go somewhere else. So she basically like looks over these houses. She's also like kind of a part-time 
teacher. Um, and yeah, she's like a really interesting character. She, you know, prefers animals over people. Everyone in the village kind of thinks of her as like this crazy lady, crazy old lady. And she has like an obsession and um, like relationship with astrology. And so she's working a lot on like astrological charts um, and like figuring out people's death um, based on certain things that their chart reads. Um, so if you like astrology and like the Zodiac, uh, you're gonna like this. Um, so basically the book started, um, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it started with her neighbor coming to uh, knock on her door in the middle of the night saying that their other neighbor is found dead, that he choked on something in the middle of the night. Um, so since then there have been two more kind of disappearances of people from this town, from this village. Um, and she's starting to have this theory that the animals are the ones that are killing the people. Like basically the animals are taking revenge on, you know, hunters. Wildlife is not really protected in this area and animals are not really protected. Um, from, you know, being hunted and things like that. And she, it really, really upsets her. Um, so she has this theory that these disappearances or these murders are actually being executed by the animals. So that's really interesting. I am, yeah, like I said, I'm enjoying it, but I wish I could just move a little bit faster through it. Like something is not full gas. Um, for me, but Jessica said that it took her a second to get into it and then actually by the end she realized when she looked at the piece as a whole like how much she really loved it. So yeah, I'm gonna just try to plow through it. Is that what I did there? And um, yeah, I'll update you further. Bye! Hello. So it is, what day is it? Oh, I never know what day it is. It's Sunday, it's our Monday. I'm gonna close this door. We just had our breakfast and I have been watching some, there's a website called Mubi, uh, which maybe some of you know about. It's sort of like a Netflix, but for like art films, experimental cinema, documentary, classics um yeah a bit more like for the film buff um so yeah it was just watching on movies some kind of little films one of david lynch which is called lamp um which is literally like you know i don't know 30 minutes of him like making a lamp which is <laughs> not for everyone but is really for me and my and I, I was just talking about her. We met for a coffee yesterday. We were just talking about how like, I don't know, when we're feeling down or weird or questioning art or the art that we make, or even like when you're feeling annoyed with like everything you see on Instagram, like Instagram is just being um, overwhelming or something. She was like, there's something about David Lynch's weirdness and his like, that's how he makes whatever he wants to make is so grounding um, and I totally agree. He's like one of my biggest inspirations. So I was watching David Lynch make a lamp. I was reading an article about like an experimental filmmaker from 
Mexico. His name is Teo Hernandez, I think. So I'm gonna put it, put his name here. So I'm interested to watch some films of his. Um, so yeah, I had like an art morning. And now we might watch an episode of Hit and Run on Netflix. We are in the first episode, so check it out. And yeah, oh, I wanted to show you um, two bottles of wine that we had recently that we really liked, so let me go get those. Okay, so first one we actually drank in um, this Italian kind of tapas, like an Italian tapas restaurant, <laughs> if there is such a thing, um, small plates. Went there for our five year anniversary. And we had this bottle of Prosecco at the restaurant. And then I managed actually to knock over the whole ice bucket and it like um, basically went all over the street. So they gave us um, a bottle to take home. So this was like a really, really beautiful bottle of Prosecco. The only thing I can read is Cavicchioli. That must be the name of the winery. It's Italian, but it was delicious and a beautiful bottle. And then um, Ohad brought this home. This is a uh, Sancerre from France. I think the winery is Clément and Florian Berthier. I think something like that. <laughs> Love Sancerre. Sancerre is like uh, Sauvignon Blanc grapes from the Sancerre region in France. So when we feel like splurging for a nice bottle of white wine, Sancerre is um, one of our faves. Sancerre and Chablis. Okay, um, that's all. I hope that these vlogs that I'm trying to upload a little bit more frequently are like still interesting because I feel like in other vlogs, I've been trying to like, you know, finish a book and talk about a book and that, that, that there's some kind of like closing to each one. And these vlogs feel a little bit more open-ended because I'm not reading that much and I haven't managed to finish the book that I keep showing you. Um, so I hope that they're just like little vlogs that you can still enjoy even though there's not much going on in them. Yeah, that's it. Bye. You want to say something? Okay, bye.